the women were the softer and fairer sex. So they treated women softer and fairer. They weren't, their place wasn't, they, they didn't need to be uh, doing anything professionally because that wasn't, they were too soft for them. Bro, this dude is trying so hard to tuck out. Patriarchal societies are fundamentally... Oh, for fuck's sake! Can you name five famous female inventors? I'll give you one, Madame Curie. That's the one I was thinking of. That's cheating. Uh, five famous female inventors. You know, I think it, it is a bit of a numbers game. There aren't as many uh, famous. Okay, but I think this is also like what you're into. Like if you're into inventors, you probably could do it. I'm not into inventors, so but I still probably could name five male inventors actually. But the thing is, is that female inventors is a bit. It's a bit peak, bro. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, who, I, mean, I don't even know who that is. So that is correct. In fact, until until up until the 70s until the feminist movement. So isn't patriarchy just the natural evolution of men and women just giving into their expected roles? Of course. So why is patriarchy seen as such a bad thing when women always expected men to provide? Because they're the devil. I, like I love guy. I love when he, he asked the questions <laughs> and the, the guy, devil. <laughs> uh, all of his questions are trying to go to a certain end so that the girls can go, oh, well, I don't know. Ma, 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 ma. That's how all of his questions are designed. But that guy was just following it like perfectly like, because yeah. they're the devils, bro. <laughs> he oppressing women based on a false premise? Uh, in today's day and age, absolutely. Okay. Um... Women's suffrage was a hundred years ago. Okay. When men were in charge, didn't they still make laws to protect women? Yes. If we lived in a matriarchy, would women make laws to protect men? Oh. I mean, they they should. Okay. Why aren't feminists fighting for those laws right now? Because feminists are a fucking loud minority. If women have been historically oppressed, where did the expression ladies first come from? Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> um, I would say, honestly... I don't know. The women were the softer and fairer sex. So they treated women softer and fairer. They weren't, their place wasn't, they, they didn't need to be uh, doing anything professionally because that wasn't, they were too soft for them. Bro, this dude is trying so hard to cuck out. Listen, man, women are the softer and fairer sex and that's why men were soft and fair to women. Like, what are you even saying right now? Like, it's just, <sighs> none, of, none of what he's saying makes sense. So that was where the whole idea, the current idea of like chivalry, of you know, opening the doors, which I, which I actually do support because it shows respect for women. It was always like, oh, you need to find you a man that does this, 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 and this. But it was never, you know, like there was people weren't teaching their sons like, oh, well, you need to have a wife that does this, this, and this. Make sure you have a girl that does this, this, and this. It was always, you know, being more focused on the on girls finding the, you know, the most perfect man. The most that's, not, that's not true at all. Yeah, that's not true at all. We, you're a dude. I'm a dude. My dad told me stay away from this. Stay away from this. Yeah. Stay away from this. Don't do that. Look for girls with this. The, the one thing my dad always used to say is, Owen, stay away from fat girls. I was like, yeah. Well, you don't have to tell me that. <laughs> my eyes got to be good on that yeah, one. Yeah, bro. They, trust me, bro. The man, the man that's going to do all this stuff for you. But I feel like it really shouldn't be about, you know, finding somebody that provides all this stuff for you. It really should be about finding somebody that you guys can really make shit happen together and just that's elevate just, together. That's you retarded. know, it shouldn't be about, about like, oh, well... I provided this and you don't have to provide anything. Love for a girl is conditioned. For a man, it's not really. It's a little bit, but not as much. What I mean by that is this. You could marry a girl that works at McDonald's. I could marry a girl that works at McDonald's. If she was hot enough and nice enough, but a yeah. girl would never hey, she marry- cook, right? A girl would ne- or most likely, I should say, marry a guy that works at McDonald's if he's just hot and nice. But reverse yeah. it and you would. So that just explains how men and women think differently in dating. How can a society that always places women first First, be called the patriarchy. It's a paradox. Would you consider chivalry to be a female privilege? Uh, of course. That dude's smart as hell. He's not yeah. even. He's just not. Well, not even smart. He's just a dude who's not Answering retarded properly. <coughs> he's just a dude questions. that's not retarded. But first, all the time, I don't think it would be called a patriarchy because that doesn't even make sense. Would you consider chivalry to be a female privilege? Mm -hmm. Um. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always the hawk girls too. Female privilege? I would. Nice. I, I would. Because I feel like chivalry sometimes has to be deserved. Because mm. you know, not I don't feel like not 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 to like talk talk trash about anybody, but I feel like chivalry is definitely something that should be deserved, something that kinda of, should kinda of be earned, you know? Not 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 saying everybody should be like rude or anything, but like like the, the utmost chivalry, you know, like the opening doors and like doing all that good good stuff. I feel like it should be earned. Right, but don't women kind of expect that on a first date? I feel like some people do, but that's why you should you should talk to who you're going on your first date with to really see what they do and don't expect to see what does and doesn't work for you. Nah, it's stupid. They always say, talk to them. No, they 
that it's so dumb. It's like the um, girls don't want you to talk to them about what they want because they don't know what they want. They want you to know what they want. They want you to be able to do what they want you to do without you, them to having to tell you to do it. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Just be like, hey, you want me to open the door for you or like you're good? That's cringe. Yeah. It, you just do it. Can you, can you open your own door? No? Uh, I got you, bro. Just, no, just, just open up just, the door. Just, just fucking do it, bro. If we lived in a matriarchal society that was run by women, what would the man's role become? Um, the hard workers and we'd be the bitches at home. <laughs> Isn't that exactly <laughs> what we have right now? Yeah, you're right. So why would a why would a matriarchy be any better than a patriarchy if that's exactly what we have right now? Okay, sorry, I contradicted your question. Too many tequila shots. I feel like the Blame opposite the would really happen. You know, women would would end up you know bringing in all the bread, you know, working all the time, and then it'd be the men that were at home taking care of the kids, you know, cooking, cleaning. But do you think women want to do all those dangerous, dirty jobs that are typically done by men? No, I can absolutely say they will not. So then, wouldn't the man's role pretty much stay the same as doing all the hard labor jobs? Honestly, yeah. And then it would just it would just add fuel to the fire because it'd be not only do I have to, or as a man, not only do they have to go, you know, do all the working and stuff, they also have a wife that's at home not taking care of the children, not cooking, not cleaning. So kind of like right now. Oh, yeah. oh my God. But we're still in a patriarchy. <laughs> we're, st oh. we're definitely not in a matriarchy. We're still in a patriarchy, even though the same dis situation that she just described and called it a matriarchy. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Bro. Oh, man, that's a good one. She that's, that's she literally just described a matriarchy, and it's exactly what we're living in right now. Can you think of any matriarchies that have existed and stood the test of time? Hell no. I mean, no. <laughs> so then why do so many women want to tear down the patriarchy and replace it Because they were retarded. Because uh, they're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, bro. I mean, yeah, because they fucking retarded, bro. I mean, he just, he just says it. I mean, it's no that, filter. Just he what just it, says what it, how it is. It's just it's how it just, is. You know what? I don't want to put it on all women, but I want to say that the women that believe in things like that, they're just naive. They're misled. And... Well, there are examples of matriarchal society. <gasps> oh, um, this guy. There are situations where it can't work. Now, please, uh, girls, <laughs> I, I've cucked out. Now, if you want me to, you know, wear... Here's wear, my number, please. Yeah, please, please text uh, me. Uh, I like BDSM as well. Please, please help me. Like, <sighs> Jesus okay, Christ. Wait, I want an example. The Sisseton, which is my the ancestry, um, on my mother's side, uh, indigenous people, were matriarchal. They're, matri they're matrilineal, actually, which meant... The, the the woman <laughs> the female she cracked out uh, all inheritances came through the female side um and when you were born you were born into the clan of your mother okay so that's that's not an example of matriarchy at all that's just an example of tradition matriarchy is not doing a tradition that's like saying on christmas you go to your mom's fucking house <laughs> instead of your dad's. Like, that's a tradition. That's not an example of matriarchy. An example of matriarchy is women controlling the household, which no, they fucking didn't do in indigenous times. And you don't, I'm indigenous, so I know. No, they didn't. Oh. <coughs> okay. I was cracked the fuck out. What was that Egyptian queen? Cleopatra? Cleopatra, yeah. She was, she was chilling. Uh, something with Alexander that's not the Great. A that's not a matriarchy, bro. They were, I don't know if that would be matriarchal, but that lasted nope. a little while until she was, I guess, bored of it. And most indigenous, many indigenous, <laughs> Indigenous societies, the Cherokee, um, Haudenosaunee, many indigenous societies oh my God, were the both matriarchal and matrilineal. But it's not that it had, men had no place; they were men leaders. But a matriarchal society isn't necessarily about women controlling everything. That's exactly what it is. Because we got tired of kind of being pushed around and not being able to speak up for ourselves because men were being our voices instead of letting us be our voices, having the respect of the women who is the background of some of the things that we have maybe influence of. Bruv, she is fucking tweaking, bruv. Women often complain how it's a man's world and how men have all the power in society. If we lived in a matriarchy and women had all the power, would they be willing to give it up? Not at all. <laughs> so then why should men? We shouldn't. But we are. We are, but we shouldn't. Bro, I just love that. My G, He's bro. He's so real. He's, just, he's so real. Fuck. He's love not that like, guy. He, he's not like, oh, well, well, from the perspective of, you know, the theological and, uh, no, he just says it, bro. Yeah. He's just... like sex, and are they willing to give that up? I don't even think that's always true, because if you think about it, men are mostly dominant during sex, and then... Well, I mean, women have the power to basically... Say if, if it does or doesn't happen. Women, women have the power to basically decide, yeah, if it does or doesn't happen. That is true. That is very so true. So once again, don't women have all the power when 
it comes to controlling sex, and are they willing to give that up? You're kind of right, and I feel like, I, I don't know if I can speak for everybody, but if I were to speak for like the majority of women, I would probably say no, honestly. So then why do women expect men to give up all the power that they've earned? That's a good question. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. That's a really good question. I feel like <laughs> they shouldn't. I feel like if you if you want everybody to be equal, you shouldn't ex expect. Bro them. is actually changing lives right now. They come in. Hmm, well, this is my belief, and then by the end of it, you're now you're yes, right. A few people at a time, he will change this world. Yes, he will <laughs> fix. We gotta we gotta start, we gotta start doing he will street fix interviews, it. bro. You shouldn't expect. But isn't that what's happening in society right now? That is what's happening. Correct. You're, yeah, you're yes. definitely right. That right. is. She got red pilled within ten minutes. Got him. Uh, I. Don't know if the roles were reversed that it would have any different uh, outcome or current results. Listen, all I'm gonna say is matriarchy, patriarchy, latriarchy, double hola patriarchy. It doesn't matter what the fucking word is, okay? Because it's just it's just a word. It has no meaning. Men are gonna do what men want to do, and women are gonna do what women want to do. Patriarchal societies are fundamentally oh, for fuck's less sake. capable of functioning than matriarchal societies. If you look at matriarchal societies, they're more harmonious because Women are actually uh, object. One thing that women are better at is Just um, one. cooperation. That's proven wrong. No, proven wrong. Proven wrong. Actually, I'll bring up. I'll bring up a reason right now. A study. They went on the show Survivor. Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls Survivor. And basically, they had two islands. One island, they were just dropped. And on one, there was women, and one, there was men. And on the women's side, basically, what they had to do is they were there for I don't know how, and they were just trying to survive as long as possible. Now, keep in mind, there were animals on the island. There was enough to make fires and survive and make everything. Well, maybe you could do this, and may maybe I could try to do that. Uh, th so they didn't understand what to do. The men instantly had a dominance hierarchy in terms of, okay, you do this, you do this. And everybody just understood the roles instinctively because it's this simple. Men have always had to have that. In, in war, lieutenant commander up, hierarchy. There's always a lower and a higher. Not necessarily in terms of importance, because they're all important, but in terms of roles. Because if there's 10 dudes on an island, and we're all just like, no, I want to do this, and I want to, no, it doesn't work. And that's mm. why everybody, na men naturally fill into the roles. You go get fired, you go get that. And you might say, who, who's the one who tells them to do, who, who's the one who takes control? <coughs> it's natural. Like, there's just natural yeah. leaders and natural followers. It just naturally will happen for men. Men will just naturally be like, all right, I'm going to do this. You guys all do this, spread out, go do, and it just, everybody's like, yep, let's do it. Nobody's like, oh, well, I, I want to do that. It's just retarded. Proven wrong there. At cooperating, then men are. So let me ask you this then. If women don't need men. I didn't why, say that. Well, my point is, if women are better at cooperation, why don't they build a female what only civil. Bro, cut it the wrong. Bro, bro cut just, the wrong clip, boy. man. Or a female only Fortune 500 company and show the world how it's done. I just think this question is really funny because you sound a lot like, if you know the Fresh and Fit podcast, um, just similar argument that I was on that podcast, a girl had a similar argument. Like there's women that, m most women don't know how to do male jobs. Like they wouldn't be able to start a civilization. Bro, with. I like this girl too. Why is it always the girls with no, with not a lot of makeup on hmm. or not a, or nothing look still really good smiling and all saying the right answers every time it's always the people the obese people with the eyelashes that look like you have slugs on your eyes and you're like no i can do what i want meh, 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 meh. 